Hi, my name is Scott Strohs, and this is MySQL Shorts. Before we can dump database data to Oracle Cloud, we need to create a storage bucket. For this demo, we are using the OCI CLI to create the bucket. There is a link to the documentation on installing the OCI CLI in the description. The command we use is OCI OS bucket create dash dash name database underscore dumps. Normally, we would also need to include the OCI compartment ID, but I have OCI CLI configured to include that information by default. You would provide that information by using dash dash compartment dash ID and then providing the compartment ID. When the process is done, we'll see information about the new bucket. Now we need to start up MySQL shell. In this example, I am starting MySQL shell and connecting to an instance of MySQL running on my local machine. I am also connecting as a user named Scott. Once we have MySQL shell started and we are connected to a MySQL instance, we are going to use the util.dumpschemas method. In this example, we're using three arguments. The first is an array of schemas we want to dump. Here we have a single element in the array with the value MySQL underscore shorts. The second argument is a string representing the folder name under which the files will be stored in our bucket. The last argument is a JSON object with options for the dump. Here we use the OS bucket name option and set it to the name of the bucket we just created. We use the OCI MDS option to verify that the data and schema are compatible with MySQL HeatWave database service. When the command runs, we will see information about the dump. Now that we have our data dump stored in OCI, we can load that data using the util.loadDump method. In this demo, we are using two arguments. The first argument is a string representing the folder we use to store the data in our bucket. The second argument is a JSON object that defines our data load options. We use the schema option to load this data into a new schema. If we did not use the schema option, the data would be loaded into a schema with the same name as the original. We also use the OS bucket name option to specify the bucket we want to get the dump files from. Once the load is done, we will see information about the process. Keep in mind that we can use the same options to dump data to OCI if we used util.dump instance or util.dump tables. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to hit like and subscribe. Also, there'll be a link in the description for any code or files we used during this video.